Hi everybody, I hope you're doing great. So if you saw my last video, you'll say, oh, she's got the same top on. Well, yes, um, I had everything set up. You know, it takes a lot of work to like prep for videos and things. And I thought I'll just go ahead and do another video on the same day and then just, you know, post it a week later. And um, so the only difference is I have blue eyeshadow on. My daughter said, mom, you know, put some blue eyeshadow to pop this shirt and all this stuff. So yes, I have some blue eyeshadow on. What do we think? Do we think we like? So um, anyways, okay. So I have, and by the way, I'm going to have a big unboxing uh, in the next week or two. It's my birthday month coming up. And uh, so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I um, do that unboxing. It'll be a good one. But anyways, uh, for now, I have a video idea that I don't think I've seen anyone do yet. And this is the personalized Louis Vuitton collection, I guess. Um, because as we know, or as you may not know, Louis Vuitton has three different ways of personalizing your items, either through the hot stamp or through the Mon monogram or through the world tour. And, you know, I was thinking about it the other day and I was like, I have a little bit of each of those. So I thought, you know, that might be a fun video if you're interested in seeing someone's collection with those kind of things. And if you're, you know, might be interested in getting something like that yourself. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I thought I would do was just start with the hot stamping. So the hot stamping is when you can get your initials put on your items. And one thing that I've noticed is if you go in store, there's a benefit to that. If you go into the store, um, you can get different sizes of fonts. You can go small or large, and I have each of those on my items. Um, if you do it online, if you buy that same item like my, my uh, agenda, my large agenda online, you can only pick one size, it's the smaller size. So if you want it to be more personalized, have more options, if you can, go to the store. Also, they have, when you go in there, they have like, you know, like when you get paint, when the, all those paint samples and they're on like a ring and you kind of like go through them. And um, so they have them, all the lettering and all the colors and the fonts, everything on these clear samples that are on this ring. And then you can literally just like sit there and play around with it on your item and place it over your item because it's clear, but with the initials and you can see like how it would look potentially. And um, so anyways, I went ahead and did a couple items with that. And I did them on the um, brown monogram because I kind of want like something like a fun color on there since there's no other really color on it. So I think monogram or damier or bean, a bean or any of those, you know, are good choices to do it with. If it's a colored item, not so much, you know? unless you wanna put gold. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'll show you, um, first of all, I'll show you this one. This is, and this is actually this really cool organizer. It's like this red velvet, it's called, and it's like a suede. Anyway, so this is really perfect for my pochette Matisse. And I can put, just off, off note here, I can put like a key clay here, um, the four ring, and then I put my agenda right here. This is the small agenda. And, so for this one, I opted for, my name is on this side, so I'm just gonna cover that up. But I got the initials in hot pink. And this is in the smaller font, just like the regular standard one that you would get online, no matter what size of agenda you get. And I go for the full thing. So I, I pick as many initials as they'll allow me to pick. I'll put the dots in just because I want all the pink. I want all the color I can potentially get from the hot stamp. So. There's that. Then I have my large agenda that I just got recently. And this one, I again, so this one, um, I always put, by the way, when I store it, I put like, or if I'm having it, so I always put like something here so I don't get the ring dense, you know? It's just like a piece of soft felt, you know, I just throw in there when I'm not like out and about, you know, if I'm just having it sit around the house. Um, and then, so this one, I opted for the larger lettering. I think that looks really nice. And the pink is so pretty. When I did the sample, you know, and I, I thought, yeah, I'll do the, you know, the hot pink or the darker pink. There's like a, like a lighter pink, but like this even comes out brighter than it did um, on the sample. So I was really happy with that. It looks really pretty. So, so there's that. I was, you know, years ago when I got that white multicolor agenda, I called in, I had a, a friend manager 
over at the Rodeo Drive store. He's long gone now, but I was telling him, you know, who does really good hot stamping? You know, I want to come in. And he's like, what do you want to do? And I said, that white multicolor I got. He's like, don't do it, Tanya. You'll totally regret it. It's too valuable a piece. It's too special a piece. Just do like the brown monogram stuff, but don't do that one. And he's like, I won't even let them do it. You've come in, I won't do it. So anyways, I never had it done. And he's totally right. Like, why devalue something that is so special? You know what I mean? Even if you're going to keep it, it's like, just do it on other things that are kind of like more basic, you know? And along the hot stamping line, um, thinking of doing maybe a couple more item, items with the um, hot stamp. I was thinking about doing the four ring key holder. My only hesitation is, and I would like to get some feedback if you guys have this, if you have your key holder hot stamped, does it chip? I'm just wondering because I'm just thinking, you know, like, I don't know, with the swaying and all that, is it gonna just like, you know, chip everything and, you know, just make it look tacky with like chipped paint or something? I don't know, so let me know if it chips or not, because that, that'll be my deciding factor if I go through with it. So like, if it doesn't chip, I'll do it, so let me know. And the other nice thing about getting it in the store is because you can put the location of the stamp in a different area. Obviously, when you do it online, it's like set in stone where it's gonna be. But like he said, do you want it here? Do you want it here? Do you want, you know, so you can make um, different options as far as where you want it located. Okay, so the next portion of the video is the Mon monogram. And that is when you do the um, initials on the items and you can pick your colors, interior colors, make it fun. And they tend to pick the bags um, that are like, that they do them on, on the ones that people, you know, the basic ones, the Neverfuls, the Speedies, the Key Balls, and, and then some SLGs. And um, so it's just a really fun way to personalize something. And so this was the second LV bag I ever got. So this has to be back in like 2013. So it's hitting the 10 year mark now. And so it's right in here. I put it in here just for fun so I can do a little reveal of it. But this is how I store it as well. Any guesses? Do you remember what I got? So back then I got the Neverfull GM. And um, so, of course, like I said, I do the whole thing, right? So I do all the dots. I want to take advantage of everything. I do all the initials just because I want as much color as I can. And um, I opted for this kind of stripe. I have the other version on my other bag here, but, and it goes all the way around the bag right there. And this one had a little boo-boo. So this never full went to the doctor, the LV doctor. Um, so not too long after I started using it, I noticed one day I was taking a picture for Instagram by this lake or something and I had this and I noticed there was a spot on the plaquetta on the somewhere along here and I was flipping out and going like how did this happen you know I'm so careful and then I recall like sometime before that the only thing I could think of is maybe because I was drinking coffee one day and it started I don't know like spilling or something and I quickly handed the Neverfull to my mother I said hold this you know, don't worry about the kids burning to death from the coffee or anything. Let's just focus on <laughs> this. And so I gave it to her. And I remember her just like running around and holding it and stuff. We were like, I don't know. I can't remember what happened to the coffee. It was just like some kind of like lava explosion. And I thought I was really careful with this, but perhaps that spot was from the coffee. That's the only thing I could think of. But anyway, I was like, whatever, you know, it's okay. And then as it darkens, it'll disappear pretty much or blend in at least. But then I noticed last year, I noticed that that spot, it started like opening up, like it's like it, like a fraying or whatever, you know, it was like actually splitting. So then I was all concerned about, well, you know what they say, uh, you know, when this gets messed up, it could affect the, you know, I, I didn't want this to get, the canvas to get ripped or damaged from that opening. I mean, it's like a minor thing, but you know, whatever. These are like really valuable bags. You wanna keep them as pristine as possible. So I took it into the LV store and they said, oh yeah, well, 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 yeah, you're right. You know, you should take care of it. And uh, so they went ahead and they replaced this whole strip. And I can't remember where it was. I feel like it was like in the front, like here, so like on the, it's kind of like over here, I think. Maybe that's why it started splitting or something on like a weak point or whatever. 
and but they replaced it they said it would take two months and it took a little less like six weeks and um i don't know if i mentioned it was a hundred dollars to replace just that part and then they made me sign something to say like okay now this is going to unmatch and then it really it's not that noticeable i mean i don't notice it i would never know you know it's really not that big a deal i don't really care as long as like things are you know like the wounds are healed you know that's fine so it'll blend eventually but anyway so getting back so this is the mon monogram the gm and it's got the hot pink interior it's made in france of course when you get them done you know any kind of this kind of stuff it's always made in france and this has the old school um you know interior which i love 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 and uh, i think not long after that they switched to the um other one when i ordered this i was concerned because they were coming out with that newer font and the newer interior and i said you know will it have the old one like this and they said as long as they have um some of the material left they're going to use that first so luckily it came back and i have this so it's got like the the florally and all that so anyways And you know what, like, I like putting the mom monogram on this because it is, it's got like, it, it's like a travel bag, you know what I mean? It's not like it's like this really conservative bag that will look weird having the initials. It's something fun. So why not make it different than everyone else's, you know? So that's the Neverfull in the pink with the, with the blue combo, the hot pink and blue combo. Okay, so this next bag, again, is in my other mom monogram piece. And this is the, what do we think this is? We all know what this is. It can only be like one other thing, right? This is the Speedy 30 in the same combo, but see, I did a little different. I did, um, so it kind of all like goes together, right? But I did the different stripes. So you can either get them like half, half stripes or this kind with the three stripe. So I just thought, you know, when I was looking on the computer that it looked like better this kind of, you know, way. But, um, and then I wanted to mention, so I don't really use this bag that much. I think I've used it like, I don't know, once. Um, and look how dark it's gotten. It's literally, I don't know if you can tell from the uh, ring light, but it's it's barely, it's like almost darker than the Neverfull. And I think it's just, it's just from sitting there. It's like a natural darkness, but I, I think I've taken it out like one time. It's just been sitting in the dust bag why i don't know i just don't find it to be like the most comfortable bag and i can see why people size down to like the 2025 thing um but anyway so this is the um 30. i was debating between the 30 and the 35 thank goodness i got the 30 because it's pretty big you know it's a it's a it's a pretty large bag um oh and you're probably wondering oh yeah i wanted to talk about this too so when i store it i always put a cloth in between i remember minx for all said you know, she had her stored and the handles got um, mis darkened or something like that. Like there was like a stripe through it or something because I think she had the handles down. And anyway, so she, she said, I remember in a video to always keep your handles upright when you're storing them uh, on this bag. And then I just took it a little further and I put like a little, again, another little felt cloth to just kind of, you know, keep it separated so that they wouldn't touch each other. Cause I don't know, it's like fussy, you know, the vaquetta. So Anyways, so this is the Speedy 30. It's of course made in France when you get the Mon Monogram. And I believe you can get these smaller in the 25. I believe they do offer that for the Mon Monogram. So, so there's that. And I do like, you know, you can decide which stripe you wanna go wear. And I ended up kind of doing the opposite effect with the coloring, you know, with the main letters here in pink and then the opposite look here. And then as it, goes from the back then it's in reverse so then you have the pink in the front and then the blue there i have no chipping on anything i never feel like carry a lot no chipping whatsoever if you're curious about that and then of course the interior i did it in the um, hot pink interior if you could see let me get you this one has the the slip in without the zipper which i like i like that there's no zipper i just think it's more convenient um and here you can see the hot pink. And now you can pick a third, you can pick a different color. You don't, it used to be you had to pick either 
whatever two colors you pick could be the interior, either or. Now you can do a third option where you could put like, I don't know, yellow interior or orange interior. You could do a third option. But then at first I'm like, oh, that would be cool. But then why would you do that? That's like your third color choice, right? Like why would you put that as your interior? Most likely you're going to put one of your two favorites in there. So I don't know if people actually do it. But um, anyways, that is another option that has changed since I purchased the bag years ago. Okay, so we have come to the last section of the personalization that LB does, and that is the world tour. Now, the world tour is a little tricky. Uh, it's very much like a personalization for sure, because, you know, if it depends if you like just a few little things to kind of, you know, make it a little personalized, or if you want like the whole shebang, you know? So it's to each its own, right? Some people like a lot, some people just want the minimal. I'm more the minimal except with the SLGs. And uh, let me show you what I got. So this little guy here, I ended up getting an SLG because when I was playing around on the stickers for the bag, um, you know, I liked so many of the stickers, but I didn't want to put them all over the bag, you know? So then at the last minute, I thought, you know what? I'm going to get an SLG and throw those stickers that I don't want to use on the bag, but I like though on an SLG. So that might be something you want to keep in mind if you're like kind of debating and you like, like a sticker just get an SLG with it, you know? And that way it's not like over your whole bag kind of situation. So this one is the um, passport holder, which totally makes sense on why you would do a world tour. I mean, it just goes with the item, you know? Um, so this one, I have an LB trunk. I just put LB on the initials so it doesn't devalue anything. But I, don't, I don't know, what is that? Is that a briefcase? I'm not really sure, but anyway. I have that and then I love hot pink. So I put that, I love the dog with the bags here and you know, the poodle and all that. So I put that on there on the back. I just went ahead and did all the stickers. I think I'm not, I'm not sure, but anyway, I put a, like a travel guy, some travel guy guys. And then, um, you know, just that, I like that sticker, how it looked and, uh, it just looked kind of like travely, you know? And then, um, inside, of course you got this beautiful pink. Now this pink is different than like their standard, whatever they use. It's, you know, the kind of like their berry pink or whatever. This one is like super bright hot pink. So I was really pleased when I opened it up and saw that. And of course it's made in France and it's got all the nice little holders for it and it fits the passport perfectly. And, um, you know, just a fun little buddy to have to, um, you know, be your little travel companion. All right, so are you gonna be able to guess what my bags are? I'm sure you know. These guys, right? So the Pochette Matisse with the black trim, the red interior. Um, so yeah, so I ended up getting this one first. And then I thought, you know what? I love it so much, but it'd be nice to have, to have this on, on here all the time and just have like a basic one with the black. So I ended up getting both. And like I said before in a previous video, I was glad I did that because they discontinued it. I mean, what was on there for maybe one or two years. I don't know why they would take it off, but Again, good for me because now these have a lot of value since this is the only way you can get the black trim with the regular monogram. Um, and the interesting thing is I keep on getting offers for this one. I've thought about selling it and I might eventually because I mean, who really needs to, you know? Um, I got an offer from, and I also got an offer from two places, Fashion File and Real Real. You know, they want this bag, um, I guess because, you know, yeah, they don't really have the world tour anymore. They know it's discontinued. And, you know, the sticker's pretty fun having one on there. I know um, there was a video I watched recently, um, Murphy, you know, the, the LV essay. She was talking about a new collection that's coming out. And she said, and she showed a bag with just like one sticker on it. And it wasn't World Tour, but it was just something with like a pink sticker. Look kind of like, you know, this type of item. And she said, that's going to sell so fast because it's just this subtle sticker. It's just one. And it's super cute. And I, if I... If I find the picture, I'll, I'll, you know, put it up here during the video. But anyway, so I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. But um, anyway, I have these and you cannot get them anymore for whatever reason. But you can still get the Alma. You can get the Neverfull, the Speedy, the Key Balls. Although the Key Ball, you can't do the black trim, I don't think. It's like all the Vaquetta. So, you know, why even bother, right? Um, but anyway, so yeah. And then the back is this which again is very similar, <laughs> except they put the LV dog on this one. And uh, yeah, so we'll see, I don't know. 
Okay, the last bag I have, do we know what it is? The Palm Springs Mini. And I just got a question. Somebody said, I didn't, I guess they weren't familiar with the World Tour. And I got this uh, question when I did this unboxing. I did it a while ago, but I got a question on it a couple days ago. And they were like, where'd you get that backpack? You know, um, I have one, but yours is so cute and so beautiful. And, you know, and I said, I, are you talking about the Palm Springs Mini? Because she already had it. I don't know. It was just like, she liked the bag with the sticker on it. It looks really cute on this for sure. Um, is it necessary? No, because it comes in the black trim anyway. So for that reason, no, but it has the red interior, it, you know, right there. And of course made in France. And, you know, I got the cute little lipstick sticker and hot pink and this over here, a couple of cute stickers. This one's in pink as well. It's just kind of, you know, it's a darker pink than I thought, like a brighter pink, a prettier pink than I thought it would be. Of course I got this because I love this. So if you just want one sticker, this looks really good on that bag, just having one like that. And I, I threw that on there just for some touch of fun because I just had to do that, couldn't resist. And, uh, but then again, nothing on this side, nothing on the back, there's no option for the back anyway. But, oh, and then I have, um, I was able to get a spare part one time just for the heck of it and it's the Pochette Matisse. So I have like three straps so I don't have to interchange the bags, which is super nice. But anyway, so that is the, oh, and Palm Springs Mini, which they do not do anymore on World Tour. So again, not that big a deal. You can get the black trim still, but if you want like the extra fun and the red interior and the made in France, probably not going to get that, but you know, whatever. So anyways, that is my collection of personalized items in all categories. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And uh, until next time, bye.